Good morning. And welcome to First Parish Church of Stowe and Acton, a welcoming and spiritual community. My name is Sue Stewart, and I serve as a member of the Religious Education Committee and as a facilitator for the youth program. If you're visiting FPC for the first time, we welcome you. Please let us know you are here by filling out one of our visitor information cards in the pews and hand it to an usher, drop it in the plate, or hand it to Meg, who's waving at me from the back of the church. Oh, she is our welcoming staff member. Our minister, staff, and board are listed on the front, on the front of the order of service. Please feel free to ask me or any of those people for more information. If you would like a large print order of service or hymnal or an assisted listening device, <clears throat> excuse me, please ask our ushers. Our assisted listening devices are small radios, which anyone is welcome to use. Um, anyone's welcome to use one to listen to the service from another space in or around the building. After the service, please join us for coffee and conversation in our fellowship hall, which is one level down that way at the other end of the building or in a breakout room if you're joining us online. I'd like to draw your attention to the announcements in the order of service and also invite you to check out our web page for more information. And you can also sign up there for newsletter, our newsletter and our email alerts. Um, and I would like to invite Scott Feld, Feldhusen forward for a special announcement. Can I try this without a microphone? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> People online can't hear the top of my <laughs> well, obviously, I come to speak to you about the craft beer and food uh, truck festival. For those of you that don't know it, it's a, a very important fundraiser for us, and uh, it's really a community building fundraiser as 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 well. Uh, over the last two years, we have raised over twenty-five thousand dollars at this event, and um, and basically. The most important thing about that is that most of that money didn't come from members of the church. They came from people who came as far away as Medfield and Framingham and whatever. And uh, obviously to, to see our wonderful church and participate in this event. Last year we had over 70 volunteers that made everything run smoothly, whether it was people getting to the restrooms or buying tickets for beer or uh, the, the, the children's games down there were a huge draw. And it all took a lot of volunteers. Now this year, as of right now, I'm standing here, we have 25 signed up. So what I'm asking you to do, if you haven't already, is to consider signing up for an hour, two hours. It's from 12 to 4, so the most you can be here is, is, uh, is for four hours. There's a table in the vestry way if you come to coffee hour, and you can sign right up there. You can also talk to Neil Saunders, to Dave Sansone, to Katie Weeks, who's doing a wonderful job collecting these names and organizing them, and you could also talk to me. And if you do volunteer, uh, you'll go home with a little gift that um, you can enjoy during your lunch hour. <laughs> so I hope to hear from you. Uh, I just wanted to show hands. How many people in here today have actually already signed up and volunteered? Okay. If you haven't and you look at the person next to you and they have, you can talk to them about how, how much fun it was as well. After you volunteer, you can then pay your way in and be a, uh, be a customer and have a wonderful cr uh, craft beer and a, and a d delicious food truck lunch. So, thank you. Thank you, Scott. Uh, and also uh, today, ongoing, is a jewelry sale down in the community room and a plant sale outside. Leftovers from yesterday, there's lots there. So um, now let us come together for a time of community, singing, and worship. This morning is the day where we lift up and honor our bridging youth as they move towards adulthood. These youth have spent their formative years in the care of FPC and other UU communities and are preparing to branch out on their own. We use a bridging ceremony to honor this transition of the moving on and beyond, but to also remind them that their church family is still here supporting and lifting them up. We will always be here for them. It is a time for celebration, but it is also bittersweet as they prepare to move on and out into the world. We will miss them if they move away, but we send them on their way with so much love and support 
in this honor tradition of bridging. Jeff Lehman writes, the Greek philosopher Plato compared the human mind to a ship on which the sailors had mutinied and locked the captain, captain and the navigator in a cabin. On such a ship, the sailors feel free to steer the ship as they like, but their direction is erratic. The goal of our religious education and youth programming in Unitarian Universalist congregations has been to help you free your navigator and captain and to guide you as you have learned to take command of your ship and your life today. Today, you sail your ship out of the safe harbor of this church community, but know that your ship joins a mighty fleet of kindred souls facing the storms together. Today, you steer, steer to ports unknown, but know that wherever you drop your anchor, fellow travelers are there to greet you, to guide you, and to be your companions, whatever joys or difficulties your journeys may bring. And now, let us worship together. Chris will light our chalice, and our chalice lighting words this morning are by Christian Schmidt. We light this chalice for our children and youth and for us, celebrating the flame of faith lit in each of us, honoring the light each of us brings into the world, rejoicing in the community we, we create together. Now please rise and body your spirit for hymn number 311, Let It Be a Dance.
join in our words of covenant and affirmation. Love is the spirit of this church and service is its law. This is our great covenant to dwell together in peace, to seek the truth in love, and to help one another. As we begin, we would like to acknowledge that this service is being held by a community that gathers on the stolen traditional lands of the Massachusetts, Nipmuc, Pawtucket, and Wampanoag people. We pay respect to these indigenous peoples who lost their lives in the colonization of this land and recognize that these indigenous tribes are still today facing violations of sovereignty, territory, and water. We also give thanks to the earth we walk upon, the waters, the life-giving plants, and all the Earth's creatures, as well as the winds, sun, moon, and stars. We recognize that this is just a first step in moving toward right relationship with Native peoples and the healing of the Earth. Now I'd like to invite forward the RE committee for our RE extravaganza. So joys and sorrows is a special, a special ritual within Unitarian Universalism. It's one of the ways that we raise up the shared ministry of the congregation because this is an opportunity for us to minister to each other. We share joys and sorrows in our worship service so that they are heard by the whole community and the community can in turn respond. And so we'll begin by sharing those received by our lay ministers um, by email and then invite those in the sanctuary here to share and then those online. We have a lot of folks here today, so please remember, as you should every week, but I'm gonna say specifically this week, share your name as well as your joy or sorrow. Thank you. And then we light two last candles, one for the continuing cost of war that is ever present with us, that we may send our hopes and thoughts and energy towards peace. And one last candle for those joys and sorrows that are left unspoken, that they're held in the loving arms of community. Let's take a moment of silence and meditation to hold all of these in our hearts. And then I'll share some words of prayer by Tim Haley. Amid all the noise in our lives, we take this moment to sit in silence, to give thanks for another day, to give thanks for all those in our lives who have brought us warmth and love, to give thanks for the gift of life. We know we are on a pilgrimage here, but a brief moment in time. Let us open ourselves here, now, to the process of becoming more whole, of living more fully, of giving and forgiving more freely, of understanding more completely the meaning of our lives here on this earth. Blessed be and amen. 
Our next hymn is number 123, the familiar spirit of life, beloved song of comfort and, and joy and sorrow as we join here together today. Please stand in body or in spirit if you'd like, or sit if you'd like. takes a community to help and support our children and youth along their journey and their path here in our UU community. So I'd like to take a moment to thank and recognize and honor anyone here who has volunteered in any way, shape, or form, whether you helped pass out materials or you taught a class or you helped with Halloween or Halloween celebration. But anyone who helped in any way to support our children and youth, I'd like you to please come forward as I have a small token of appreciation for you. Come on up. Don't, Don't be shy. with his wonderful teaching songs to our children. <laughs> Amazing. And putting up with me saying, I need a song so we can dance. <laughs> can you all just thank them for me, please? If you're curious, what's in this bag is a little sweet note from Rayla. And it says, on behalf of the RE committee, I'd like to sincerely thank you for your gift of time to the children and youth of FPC this program year, Rayla. A little card that says, you make a difference. And then this cute, like, keychain uh, straw, I believe, that's like expands, and it's also got a straw cleaner in here, too, I think. So it's like a telescoping rainbow straw. This, oh, do we have a plate sharing video to this week? Did we get that working? Because I know last week we didn't. And I think, I think that we sent it, but we forgot to send it to Felix. So 
We're still going to try and get you plate sharing information this month, but the Boston Area Gleaners is a fabulous organization that we have voted for a couple of years now to partner with in sharing our plate with them. And more about them can be found in your order of service. Please give generously as you are able to the work of this congregation and the work of Boston Area Gleaners. Um, your gifts are greatly appreciated. I know that I've been 
So today we are honoring our graduating seniors, and when at the end of our words about that, Bradshaw will mention the Rainbow Bridge, here's what I want to happen. For those of you sitting on the inside sections of the pews, these two sections, at the end of each pew, you have some rainbow crepe paper. And what I want you to do is scoot over right now, if you can, so that there's somebody sitting on the end. And then when Rainbow Bridge is mentioned by Bradshaw, you'll pop up, and people on the outside pews will pop up, and you'll each take one end of those crepe papers and hold them over the aisle creating like a rainbow tunnel for our youth to process to. So again, the cue is Bradshaw saying the words rainbow bridge. And now with that introduction, I turn it to Rayla to begin our ceremony. Hello? Hello? Is that better? Okay. I would like to call forward our bridging high school students and their guardians. I would also like to call forward any members or friends who are in their 20s and 30s to stand on this side to welcome them as well as any remaining youth members, youth group members who are here today. Where are you? So Bradshaw Matson and Emmeline Jones will represent the 20s and 30s here in our community. And Sue Stewart, as one of our youth advisors, and Kendra Jabonowski are you, will represent the youth to bid them farewell. And then Kendra, again, will represent and honor our rising ninth graders to welcome them into our youth. So today we recognize Meredith Jablonowski, Kennedy Matson, and Zemzem Asinar as they have been part of our FPC community and will be truly missed from the youth group as they bridge into the young adult world. Some words of blessing to you. I'm going to turn my back to the congregation here so I can see them. May this moment be a threshold you cross into wonderful new things in life, new beginnings and also continuings. May you follow your vision and dreams, knowing that this church has nurtured you in that dreaming and supports you in, that, in your quest. May you hold true to the highest values that you carry from our faith into your future. And may you have joy that goes with you throughout your days to come. May you know always that here is a place that is your home, that welcomes you as a young adult in our circles if you are staying here, and welcomes you back if you are venturing elsewhere. May it be so. This moment marks an end and a beginning. So we wanted to give each of you the option, if you wanted to, to say something of your past year that you've enjoyed in your experience, or to say something you're looking forward to in the future. This is not a requirement. I will pass the microphone to you. If you don't want to speak, just pass it on to the next person. And then the last person, pass it back. There you go, folks, our graduating seniors. As our bridgers leave their youth group friends and are welcomed by our young adults, we show a single rose. Often when you use dedicate infants and children, they are given a rose as well. Those roses have the thorns removed to symbolize our commitment to protect the young children from life's dangers. And now for this rite of passage, again a rose. A larger, more vividly colored flower whose stem this time is not so carefully stripped of thorns. So remember that when you get it. <laughs> 
The life is occasionally sharply painful, as well as rich in color and texture. We urge our young adults to engage in life fully. Although you are leaving us physically, you will stay, you will still always be a part of our youth group. We thank you for all your contribu contributions during your time here, and although we will miss you, we are encouraged for we too will follow your lead and bridge out ourselves into the, in the years to come. My wish and hope for you is that wherever you are in the coming years, you will find a Unitarian Universalist faith community to hold you and nurture you, to share your joys and your sorrows, and to help you discover and support the ways in which you are called to make this world a better place. So now we have a few gifts for you, as well as the roses. The end of high school often comes with a change in your levels of freedom. So that includes the freedom to come and go in different ways. So what I have for each of you is a chalice keychain so that wherever you're coming and going from, a reminder of this community and your Unitarian Universalist history and hopefully your Unitarian Universalist future can be with you wherever you are. On behalf of the RE committee, we offer you this small token to see you forward in your days and years to come. This book. Congratulations. And I also have a few gifts, um, one of which is shown up there. And it's a small traveling chalice kit so they can take their faith and their church community wherever they go. I have them pick it because do you know that saying that they sometimes say to small children, you get what you get and you don't get upset? Well, you get what you ask for, you get what you go after, you get what you make happen. Today we welcome your energy and offer you a safe place to grow. This is the beginning of the rest of your life. And although you have left your childhood and your youth group, you have not left your UU family. Today you symbolically cross a bridge. Change the world or change your mind. We will support and nurture you. Live your, Ooh. <laughs> Live your life in awareness of your actions and your choices. See the beauty in the world that surrounds us, the structure and the chaos. Realize that although there are manifestations of evil in the world, there are also manifestations of good. Let the balance of what you do in the world add to the good. As we lift the rainbow bridge, <laughs> come now with us and explore with wonder. We will support and nurture you. You are loved. And if our bridgers will please follow Emma Line and Bradshaw. Thank you.
Okay. <laughs> As we send our bridgers off into the world, um, we officially would like to recognize uh, two of our two of our um, youth who are rising to the next level. Um, we officially recognize Jung Hefner Wong and Lila Rominski, who will be transitioning from our junior youth group to our high school explorations group. Both of these youth have been part of our church community for some time, and I'm very excited to welcome them both to the group. We are happy to have them join us. <laughs> and neither one of them were able to be here today, so when you see them, just congratulate them on moving. When we do have bridging junior youth, what we'll do is we'll have a special invitation for them to go up into the balcony um, because we've had a tradition that senior hires are invited to sit with each other and not with their parents up in the balcony here at FPC. And so you'll see up there we have some streamers that are not falling today because they're not here today. But next time, those are going to come down. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So that brings us to our closing hymn. Uh, you know, our opening words talked about boats and, you know, at our child dedications here at FPC, we have little boats that we give to children when they're dedicated to represent how they go through rough waters and smooth waters throughout the journey of life. And so now we're going to sing about how we are there on the boats with them, all of their ship's companions through this journey. Please rise in body and spirit. <laughs> Our closing words are actually words from the books that the Bridging Youth were given today, um, titled Go Boldly by author Jean M. Olson. 
May you be brave enough to expose your aching woundedness and reveal your vulner vulnerability. May you speak your deepest truths knowing they will change as you do. May you sing the music within you, composing your own melody, playing your song with all your heart. May you draw, paint, sculpt, and sew, showing the world your vision. May you write letters, poetry, biography, slogans, graffiti, the great novel, laying bare your words to love and hate. May you love, even though your heart breaks again and again. And until the end of your days, may your life be filled with possibilities and courage. May it be so.